Monster Michigan brown trout. Probably not the first thing that comes to mind when you think about fishing in Michigan. But there's no doubt in my mind that in these Michigan streams lie some of the gnarliest brown trout in the country. I'm Jordan Fromer, and I'm on a mission. That's a big one. one. flies for big brown trout, and I expect a lot of work with fewer results. High risk and high reward is the name of the game. Buckle up as we chase big browns on the fly. What's going on, folks? Thanks for joining me on another episode of Duck Gun Chronicles. So, today I am up in Michigan. As you can see, the stream behind me. Dad's with me. He actually had to jump back to the car or the truck. He had left something in there, so I'm just standing here waiting for him. But sunset is coming. We're right here on the stream, and we are ready to get after it. This is not going to be your ordinary trout fishing trip, though. Um, this, this journey is going to be called the... 20 inch club so if you guys aren't familiar with trout fishing that's kind of the elusive number to beat or to gain um you know size wise i'm sure it's easier out west than it is here but we've caught trout we've caught trout for years um and nothing you know the best one i've caught is 15 and a half inch just that's my pb on trout it was a rainbow last year um and it was a good one but this one is all about going to be about streamers and mousing and getting to that 20 inch number. Um, that's my and dad's gold for this. So we won't be throwing dries or nymphs. Um, that'll be kind of like a last resort because big fish eat big flies, they eat meat flies, and that's what we're here for. So stay tuned, folks. We're about to hike the rest of the way in to the spot and get after it. So should be a good one. Your beard's missing from the last video. <laughs> yep. Out the head in. So I just told him about our plans for the 20 inch club. What do you think? What are our odds? <laughs> uh, I've, I've given up giving the odds. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be happy <laughs> if we get something like that. Yeah. Let's go ahead go. And, and get out there. All right. Fish on. There we go. Hey, walk pretty, him over here. One. That's a big one. Bring him over here. There we go. That's the start we wanted. That's got to be your biggest trout. Ah, uh, for sure. It's almost the 20 inch club. <laughs> no, no, no. 16. I'm, I'm saying still, that's pretty good. Not have him out of the water too long. Now he's all fired up. No, but we need to get a good one. Loose. You get a big picture from here. Look at that. Net. Well, I don't know if I drop him, he's a goner. Well, you're gonna release him anyway, right? We need to get one of those gloves. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it can go up from there. <laughs> All right. We should, you should have said the 15 plus club. <laughs> it's a good start. That's where it had right that species. That's a good spot, and you got one there too. Just trying to float along. I threw it as close to that tree as I could get and let it come down and, and float right through here. Yep. I think he was on this gravel right here. Maybe working his way. He might have chased it. All right, well, I'm getting to fishing now. Huh? I'm going to start fishing now. Okay. All righty, fellas. Well, it is. <laughs> just about where we can't see so i got the the big light going on the camera and we're set up so um yes all that dad caught is awesome fish like world-class brown trout right there wild so um now i just had one hit my streamer as i was pulling it across the surface there's my light pulling across the surface for another cast so 
a little bit of a hurry here, but uh, here you guys can see it. Um, mouse fly, I'll try to get a better video of that, but we're gonna throw them on top surface here, get them late night action, so stay tuned. So as you can imagine, it's almost impossible to get footage at night. We did have multiple strikes, but nothing landed. I'm definitely a little discouraged, but the bite was on. So we went back to the Airbnb to prepare for the next day. We got our flies around, everything we needed to hopefully have a successful day. Fast forward to around noon the next day, we went and we got some grub, got refueled and ready to hit the trail and get after brown trout again. And when I say we went out there and hit the banks hard, we hit the banks hard. I mean, we fished all day with no action. And we just kept running the streamers, sticking true to the game plan, hoping, just hoping, that we were able to land a massive brown trout. And at the end of the day, like I said, nothing. It was just lots of miles put down, lots of hiking, lots of casts, no success. But as evening came in, we definitely were a little frustrated, but we kept saying, one thing. All it takes is one fish. <laughs> and we're just one hoping fish. for that one change chance, that one fish that would change everything. Back to the mice, back to the evening fishing with the same result. As we hiked out, definitely still discouraged, but we knew we had one final chance, one last day. Last day, day three, we get out there, and then finally it happens. Kind of. Oh, oh, oh. Winner, winner. Oh boy, that's not, that's not what I thought it would be. Well, self-filming here, but this is, <laughs> I thought for a second I had the brown trout. I thought that we're gonna make it happen. <laughs> but, Freaking northern pike. Right under its jaw it came out. We're gonna get the sucker back in there. Can't believe it. Can't freaking believe it. Nice consolation prize. Alrighty folks, that's a wrap on that one. Um, definitely had a ton of fun putting it together and a ton of fun out there hunting. <laughs> That's a ton of fun out there fishing with dad. Um, you know, I said a few times I was discouraged or frustrated through it, and we were a little bit, you know. Um, we're hoping to get some more action, but you just can't help it if the fish aren't biting. Um, but, you know, that first day, dad catching um, really a monster brown trout. It wasn't that 20 inch mark that we we're reaching for, uh, but definitely up there it was personal best for him, and it would have been a personal best for me as well. So, um, that's definitely solid. Can't complain about that at all. Um, through the rest of the trip, like I said, just the bite fell off and well, what can you do? Um, but go back and try again and I'll definitely do that. Um, like I said, just had a ton of fun with this film. Super fun to get the creative wheels turning on something like this. But yeah guys, um, I think that's all I got for today. Thanks again for tuning in. Make sure you hit that sub button. We got more content coming at you and we'll see you on the next one. Let's go.